Hey everybody, it's me. It's me, Carl Skinner, and I'm back for Kirby Superstar Ultra. And this is gonna be a new playthrough because I've been gone for I've been gone since January, and a lot of things have been happening. And Sonic Three and Knuckles will be had. Well, I'll do that some other time with Knuckles' story because in Sonic Story, I lost all my save files. I lost all my super emeralds, my chaos emeralds and everything. So I'm just gonna start off a new game. I'm just gonna start off a new series in my Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. I don't think I'll get I don't think I'll ever get back to that game ever again because I still haven't beat that game yet. And I just I'm not I'm not gonna bother myself with that game. And I'm starting another Kirby game. And this game is way better to me. I think this is the best Kirby game I've ever played. And I know there's other Kirby games that are better, like Nightmare, no, not Nightmare in Dreamland, Return to Dreamland, uh, I think Triple Deluxe and all that stuff, but anyway, and I had Superstar Ultra, I had that game at one point, I had that game for like five years, but I no longer have that game, so let's just start with the playthrough, and I did this playthrough earlier, so let's just play through this game. I'm doing Spring Breeze for this video. I'm not you doing, uh, I'm not, I'm going to do these with my, I'm going to do Gourmet Race and Dino Blade with my friend tomorrow, and then I'll do, and then I'll do Great Cave Offensive. I don't, I don't know where all the, uh, I don't know where all the treasures are at, at Great Cave Offensive, and Revenge of Metal Knight and M Milky Way, which is, I definitely know those two, and Megaton Punch and Samurai Kirby, they're the only mini games, there's also uh, the Arena, but I'll get to those soon. An extra video or something like that. And this is your first time playing? Nope. Shall we explain copy? They'll, if you say no, they'll still explain, they'll still tell you how to do it anyway. Alright, green greens. Alright. You can jump, you can float, you can dash, you can dash and everything. Um, here we go. You can, you can, oh, yeah. Kirby's uh, signature abilities. He can dash. He can he can dash. He can do a down dash like this to attack enemies. He can float, and you have to press like and you have to press like the B button or something like that to uh, deflate his jump. Because uh, if you do, he'll be like that forever until you do it. Or or he hits the ground. I never knew that. And he, he you can also do this to make a helper. I don't know the buttons because I'm using the emulator. So let's just get to this. And depending on the ability you use, you create a different helper every time. Um, Bean gives you Water Dew, Cutter gives you Sir Kibble, Sword gives you Blade Knight, uh, Poppy Brothers Jr.'s Bomb, etc, etc. Here's Poppy Brothers Sr. I get him, I use a Bomb ability. I can, uh, I can aim, I can aim if I hold the button to aim and throw. I can uh, place bombs like this. I can, I can do a dash throw with the bomb. I'm gonna show that uh, later on. When I oh yeah, when I grab food, when I grab food, uh, sometimes the helper grabs the food, and when I uh, throw my cat, the helper becomes a different person. All right, I'm gonna show you the abilities. Like he can oh crap, this guy. If you certain certain Kirby games, when you get hit one time, you lose your ability. But in this game, when you get hit like with a multiple multitude of times, you uh. You get you you still keep your ability until until like you get enough hits when your ability cuts off on you. You can also do this, place a bomb like this. Oh yeah, and the cloud the dust cloud that Kirby uh exhales out his um his mouth, it, it also does damage against enemies. So let's do this. This is Wispy Woods, obviously. Yeah, yeah. He throws apples and worms and spikes and gordos and stuff like that. It's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, when you have a helper with you, when these little victory dances, they dance with you. It's kind of funny. Um, next is Float Islands. You got the wheel stuck in his mouth. I'm gonna throw this cap because this fighter right here, right now. All right, Ugh. there we go. Fighter is one of the best abilities in game, along with hammer. Uh, fighter gives you Knuckle Joe if I throw the cap at him. But, uh, I'm gonna use fighter for a while. He can 
Kirby can use jab. Kirby can do jabs. He can do an uppercut. He can do a down dash if I can use it. No, no, he move. He can he can do this. Wait, I I can't do it. I can't do it right now. Oh yeah, he can does judo flips and stuff like that. I think they're judo flips. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really a fighting that's expert. Uh, yeah, he does that. Yeah, he does that technique. Oh yeah, when a helper explodes and uh, it get, it comes in contact with a different uh, uh, when it comes in contact with different user like that, it becomes a helper. It also becomes a helper. And once you have invincibility candy, and you give it to the helper. The helper also becomes invincible, which is even more crazy. This part is super easy. All you have to do is just hit hit the enemy like he had to hit Mr. Frosty just like that, and there you go. If you have the invincibility candy. And if you have an ability and a helper, it's still no problem. Oh yeah, this part is really easy. If, uh, there we go. Here's Crash. Crash doesn't have a helper because it's a one-time use. It's a one-time use ability. All right, here we go. And just like in any Kirby game, this game also uh, when you suck in two abilities, you'll also be able to use. Uh, you'll also be able to uh, get a random slot. Um, and when you use, when you get Crash and use a full little follow on the stage, you also uh, yeah. Just like that, you instantly win this boss. This game is incredibly easy. I played this game so many times, and when I was younger, I always wanted to play this game. Even though this game came out before I was born, I still wanted to play this game anyway. And when I saw Super Saiyan Ultra came out, I realized this game was a this game was all actually the original game. Super Saiyan Ultra is the remake of this game with added content and uh, cinema uh, and cinema cutscenes and stuff, and it adds additional scenarios to the game that the original Super Saiyan Ultra didn't have. I mean, the original Superstar didn't have. That was pretty fucking cool. That was pretty cool. And, uh, wait. Uh. Oh, yeah, you can also press L and R to guard. Here's Mirror. Oh, yeah, and certain abilities, um, when you guard with certain abilities, they have, they create a shield. Like, the Mirror, Mirror ability, it gives you a Mirror Shield when you guard. And Ice, you have, like, an Ice Block. You have an Ice Guard. So yeah, let's get to this. Oh, here's Crackle Jr. We don't know the enemy's names until like Superstar Ultra actually knows the names, but oh. no, who, who cares, right? Oh, come on. Crackle Jr. is not that hard. The original Crackle is, is a little bit more harder, but he's not that hard either. Simir. That's the helper's name. Oh yeah, here's another ability down here. It's called Microphone. It's just like Crash, but instead of a one-time use. I mean, it is a one-time use, but you can only use it three times. And the more you use the mic, it, it becomes even more powerful and po more powerful. I'm just going to float up here and avoid all this damage. Oh, my up button didn't work. Alright. See, here we go. Come with more powerful. Case 4. And my other slot file, it insta killed him. It was meant to insta kill him. But I guess. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Ugh, crap. I did not suck this bad. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I did not suck this bad. And plus, beam is beam is a common ability in this game, which really sucks. Last stage, Mount DDD. This is when we fight King DDD. Oh, yeah, the plot of Spring Breeze. King DDD and his minions uh, stole all the food in Dreamland, and it's up to Kirby to get um to be him and take all the food back. Ooh. Wait. Just give me a second. Here we go. We have two abilities. When two characters have an ability to swap them at the same time, they do a random they do like a, a random check. 
Oh yeah, King DDD. He's not that hard either. Once you know his patterns. Here's Hammer. Hammer's the most powerful ability in the game. It can do. You can do a spin jump with it. You can do a spin jump. You can do a a, a spin attack. Uh, well, spin attack. And then you can do use this fire attack. And once you and you can also throw the hammer, but you risk you risk you risk uh you risk uh you risk the uh you risk uh not having the hammer back. Here's some other stuff. And that's it for Spring Breeze. Like I said, Spring Breeze is not that hard once you get the launch stage. Until then, once I, oh, oh yeah, not until then, not yet. There's four stars floating on the castle. Next. Alright. That's it for, uh. Okay, that's it for Spring Breeze. I'm Carl Skinner, and I'm signing out.